These handfuls of beans could soon be the future of energy. They come from Zotropa plants. Once the machine presses the beans, the oil that comes out is collected in jars. It's called biodiesel fuel. It's clean and renewable. This farm tractor runs on the oil from the Tetropa plant, and it may still be available at your local gas station. Not only do Tetropa make the best biodiesel when it's converted, but raw, it's the best thing in a jet engine. Farming Biodiesel Incorporated, FBI Farms for short, is in Desert Center, 50 miles east of India. Farmer Mike Reardon works here with the dedication of a man with a goal to grow his operation into a major player in green energy. That dedication means 18-hour workdays. Reardon hopes this is more than a future moneymaker. He sees this as part of a philosophy. Little goes to waste here. Even the leftovers from the Tetropa bean crushing end up as food for cows. Reardon even runs fish farms here in Desert Center, the water coming from the desert's giant underground aquifer. And then flow the water back out through the field and use that to, to fertilize so it eliminates the petrochemical use of the farm. Recycling everything. Recycling everything is being green. Uh, one of the models here at FBI Farms is you can't call yourself a green energy and produce a hazardous waste. And that abundant water is part of Reardon's secret of growing Zotropa in the desert. He's discovered flooding it in water in this heat makes the plants grow quickly. This is the next step to get us off of foreign oil and clean our air. This farm is something of an experiment. A handful of Zotropa beans ending up looking more like slime now competes to be the future of green energy. Nathan Baca, News Channel 3 HD, Desert Center.